Get a £5 free bet every week with Offer Club from William Hill. Simply stake a total of £20 or more across the week on pre-match football accumulators with four or more selections and you'll get a £5 free bet on the Friday. Join William Hill Offer Club on mobile or online now. James Holder, Eiffel TV, in association with Matt Pizzi, my bow. With me, I've got the WBA World Champion, Jamie McDonnell. Firstly, congratulations on retaining your title over Liborio Solis. How do you sort of assess tonight's performance? I thought it, I thought it was a good performance. Um, a tough fight, you know, it's what we expected. Um, that's why we picked him. Um, I didn't think it would be as tough as that, you know, I had to dig in a little bit, but I felt in control all the way through. Um, a little bit disappointed when I got out and heard some of people's comments. Um, you know, I felt in control. I had spells when it got tough. Um, it was catching me with odd right hand, and it was putting a bit of work weight on me. Uh, you know, but it wasn't. You know, I was dealing with it, slipping, tucking up, you know, blocking, and um, poking odd shot. So I never thought I was in danger. You know, it caught me with odd right hand, but nothing really hurt me. But you know, where I thought, you know, um, he's gonna, you know, step it up and try and, you know, stop me or something like that. But. Uh, no, I felt good. Uh, I felt good in there, you know, I got to end and, you know, I thought I'd won by probably three, four, five rounds, maybe. There's been obviously a talking point, well, as you mentioned, when you came out of the ring as well, sort of the response of the crowd. So a lot of people have scored the fight, some for you, some for Solis. Did you feel that you won the fight comfortably in there, Jamie? Yeah, you know, they obviously see it different, but in there, honestly, I felt, I, I just cruised through it. You know, that's why I just kept doing what I was doing because I felt in control. Um, and I come out and everyone's saying, oh, it's a close fight. You know, I've got you, I've got you by a round or this. And, you know, he might have nicked it. I think um, some of them at Sky, Johnny and Ed, I didn't win in. And, you know, it gets you down a little bit, you know, but, you know, everyone's got their opinion. But, you know, I won and the judges on the night, you know, had me winning by a few rounds. So, you know, it's just exactly how I felt you know, what I did in there and, you know, we, we move on, you know, I defended my title, that's a fifth defence, you know, maybe let's, you know, look at um, some big fights with Yamanaka, Rashi Warren, I'll possibly move up now, um, you know, I need something, you know, new challenge, bigger fight, uh, bigger names, you know, but I think that's, well, the perfect fight, you know, what I needed, um, a good, tough, uh, former world champion like that, you know what I mean? One of the judges gave you the fight by six rounds. I know you're not in charge of the judging. Did you feel that was wide to give to win the fight by six rounds? Maybe, yeah. I, I'd have probably said three or four rounds, probably. You know, but um, maybe he must have liked what I was doing, you know what I mean? But never in a million years I had him nowhere near winning, you know what I mean? Nowhere near. You mentioned, obviously, now you're looking at big fights, Warren and potentially even going up in weight. How? how how significant and how much of an, uh, uh, how confident are you that you can still hold your own going up to super bantamweight? weight? Most definitely, you know, I'm big for the weight, you know what I mean? Um, you know, I've been saying I'm going to move up for about a year, but, you know, I want, I want a massive fight. I want, that's why I want the Yamanakas and Rashid Warrens. You know, I want a big fight. Um, I think there's one big fight left at bantamweight, like, you know, before I move up. But, you know, if, you know, if I can move up, you know, I'd move up and fight the best out there. At Super Bantam, I think that does suit me, but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm on edge of wanting a big fight at Bantam where you know to leave the division as the best, you know what I mean? That's what I want. So, you know, maybe I've been hanging around too long and you know, maybe it's time to move up now. Do you still make Bantam weight comfortably? Is it a case of your, your body's getting older, you're getting older as a man, as you grow older, it's sort of your body's changed a little bit? Do, do you feel as if, as if it's the right time for you to move up? Yeah, possibly. You know, I'm 30 years old, you know what I mean. I've been at this weight, oh, 10, 11 years, you know what I mean? You know, eight stone six, I'm five foot ten, you know what I mean? Obviously, I do struggle, but, you know, it's, it's, it don't, sh I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't feel it in the fight, you know, um, there's plenty in the tank, I feel good, um, you know, but maybe when I move up, I'll feel a lot stronger uh, at Super Bantam, and I believe, you know, I can be a world champion at Super Bantam weight. When can we anticipate seeing you back in action? Well, now you're going to have your break over the Christmas with your family. I know you've got a young family, so it's very important to get that time, but when do you envision being back in the ring? I'd like to be 
you know, I said to I said to Damon, said to Eddie, you know, you know, I mind training over Christmas and fighting, you know, with Ashley won't want to fight in February, you know, in the States, I'd go over, I'd train over Christmas if I have to, I'd have a week off and straight back in the gym, but possibly end of March, April time, realistically, you know, I'll enjoy Christmas and the new year, first week, second week in January, back in the gym, you know, and probably look for something end of March, uh, beginning of April. You know, I'd like to, to line up a fight with uh, Rashid Warren or Yamanaka. If not, let's move up. All right, well, listen, enjoy your moment. I know how much it means to you to retain that belt. Um, and we look forward to seeing some imminent news and seeing you back in the ring real soon. Thank you Cheers. very much, Jenna. Thank you.